Yes, lads, welcome back to another custom tactics video on the channel. Today, we are taking a look at a classic from last year, the 4-2-4. Let's get into it. So jumping in with the defensive style, we, of course, leave this on balance. But this last year was my favorite press information in the game. Um, just because you've got the four attackers, it lines up against every single four back perfectly. So you mark them out man for man. Amazing. Even if you just want to put this in at the end of your tactics rotation, if you're losing to put a press on, I recommend you could do that. Um, but if you're using it for regular and just going to start in it, balanced on defensive style and then switch into press of the possession loss if you are losing. Width, we play 45. Depth, we are playing 71, the dreaded 71. We're on board with it. We've practiced a lot with it with a lot of different formations. So I've got a couple of updated tactics videos coming out um, with the 71 depth. Um, but it is insane. Definitely lob it on. It, it is a bit of a learning period with 71 depth, though, just to bear that in mind. Um, but once you do get used to it, you'll be flying, trust. Um, the builder play balance, chance creation is direct passing. It's, it's still the best in the game. It's still the best. And if you're looking to compete and get those divisions and finish the best ranks you can, you should definitely use it. Width, we play 45. Players in the box, we leave on five. Corners, we leave on three. So I bring players short and then go for those near post headers. It's really good. And then free kicks on two. Um, so a few adjustments there to the corner and free kick tactics. I'm finding the three on the corners, you don't get you don't get hit on the counter that badly. So definitely something to consider. Diving in with the player instructions. But before we do, if you haven't already, drop a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, so both the strikers, both on stay forward, but then I have my faster striker getting behind. Um, so I like Kubo to do a bit of everything. Sometimes he'll drop off. He's a bit more technical, can find a pass. And then Ansu is just a pace merchant. We send him in behind to create those easy chances. Um, so that's the only difference. It doesn't matter whether your left or right striker is getting behind. Um, the left wing and the right wing are both on the same instructions. Come back on defense. So they're going to defend in the wing areas when you don't have the ball and then just get into the box crosses. So they're going to support the back post and they're just going to get involved with the plays when you're attacking and they're going to be another um, a shooting opportunity when you're in the box. Um, so when you're defending though, Di Maria will defend in front of Balde. Uh, uh, Puteas will defend in front of Cancelo in this 4-4-2. The two centre midfielders we have on stay back while attacking and cover centre. Nothing else. We did, if it had a CDM on it, we would probably use cut passing lanes because I am loving cut passing lanes on another formation that will be going live this week. Um, but stay tuned for that. Um, the center backs, touch them, I will find you. As always, uh, you do not need to do anything with your center backs. They sabotage you enough. Um, goalkeepers comes across his and sweeper keeper, help you now and again. Um, goalkeepers are very easy to round at the moment with a ball roll. They can just walk around it. So. Um, them coming out fast does help sometimes, but you're probably better off just shifting it from left to right. Um, and you know, a bit of goalkeeper movement doesn't hurt anyone. Um, the fullbacks we have one stay back while attacking, and then the other is on a balance and overlap. It doesn't matter which fullback you have overlapping, just make it your more creative fullback. I will definitely be getting rid of Cancelo though, because he's not the fastest. So, being the creative fullback of my team, he needs to be fast enough to get back into position when you lose the ball. So just bear that in mind. If you've got a fullback that is going forward, you probably want him to have at least 90 pace. And that is the 4-2-4. We have been using it from the go, but traditionally this has been a formation I go into when I'm losing. Um, but it's really nice. If you want to play the entire game with this formation, your player's stamina doesn't get killed. It's really nice. And it's, again, if you're losing, it's the best formation to just go into a press with. I, I don't think there's a better formation because it's like a 4-2-4, but uh, a 4 4 2 but super aggressive. But let's jump into some gameplay. Cheers. Yes, lads, welcome back to the gameplay part of the video. Um, we are playing the cup, the Sweat Cup, um, which is the least fun you can have on this game. Well, I don't actually, that's probably not true, actually. Uh, um, it is very, very sweaty. I think it's skill-based matchmaking again, like last year. Because EA don't listen to any of the feedback um, from the previous year, which is fantastic. You know, it's what we're here for. Um, diving into the gameplay, the 4 2 4. I love it. It's a, it's a just a really solid formation with uh, the goalkeeper movement already. Um, ooh, I thought he was going to mess it up then. Um, it's just really solid in 
attack and defense, it gives you a bit of everything. Um, I do need to get rid of this Barcelona team, to be honest, and just go full Messi because it's just not it's just not doable when you're trying to when you're trying to compete. Like we were able to get 17 wins with it this weekend, but we want to be pushing to rank ones. And I just don't think the team is good enough to do that because you just need a little bit of an edge at times. And if I could have Puteas for every game, that would be amazing. But that's just not the case. And you fluff chances like that. That's me, that is. That's all me. The cross body shot. I should have just... Um, he's a goalkeeper mover. So what we'll do... We're going to hang on fire for a few seconds. Balde, you've lost your man. And that's 70 depth. You can see the way their team push out a little bit there. Um, again, with the depth, just make sure you're using what you're comfortable with because it's not, 71 depth is not, you know, an absolute necessity. Um, just play it if you like it. Alde is done. So done. He's a good budget. There you go. Just worked it through. And those are the goals you have to score and repeat, unfortunately, in this year's game. Is those, uh, those cutbacks. It's arguably, in all my years of playing FIFA, or EA, or EAFC, or whatever, it's probably the most boring meta of all time. Um, just like, I know the byline cutbacks were always a thing. But this is crazy. Like, if you're not going down the outside, then you're doing something wrong. Um, I tried to green time that. Um, you need to be just holding RB and going to that byline every single time because if they don't have to defend it, then you're going to smack them 10 times out of 10. I don't know why he's taking a touch there. Did he give me a penalty advantage then? Or was that an offside advantage that it didn't give him? I think it was an offside advantage. If it was a penalty advantage, it's hella quick. But look how many bodies you've got in attack. This guy is literally flooded the midfield. So we're just going to go out wide where we know our fullback is going to be overlapping. Remember, using that side that your fullback overlaps is super important because you're going to have an overload on that side a lot of the time anyway. Go on, Kubo. Where's the passing options? Come on, guys, move. Give it out to uh, Di Maria. This guy can dribble in Messi. Look at the dribbling. Side foot shot when I have to press B. Brilliant. Ah, oh, the counter attack. No. Yeah. Nope. Not quite got that ball back. Okay, game. Thank you. Well, uh, Alex, yeah. Honestly, it's probably my favorite card that I've used this year so far is Aputeas. But I do need to just use that Hakimi I got now. Because... Because I like that side going forward as well. Um, Cancelo just gets caught too much. And for 160k, one of the most expensive fullbacks in the game, you can't be have that much of a problem with your game. Oh, uh, bro. Look at them. The meta is the worst, bro. It is the worst. It's so retiring to play. But, you know, we are here. Eventually, they'll patch it because it just we just need another way to score other than just cutbacks, you know? It is, if you're not doing cutbacks on repeat, you're probably not finishing where you want to finish. Why the hell did he do you see Maria do the dummy shot then? He's a top card though. For 60k, I don't think you can go wrong. The only problem is, is the links. Um, Take Kubo, another good card. Another card that's in my start 11. This um, engine, she's very bad. I don't say very bad actually. She just doesn't do anything. A player, she feels invisible. I think it's because she's just no. There's just no physical presence in the midfield. 
I knew she didn't. She, she's just... She's got 99, 90 odd interceptions, right? But just, I guess, nowhere near the ball, ever. <laughs> Defensive masterclass. I like how boring that was. He was literally playing the ball side to side and hoping that we'd overcommit. And that's the one thing you can't do. Is just overcommit. But yeah, she's terrible. Unfortunately. Um I was really hoping she's not not a sniff on um Xiaomani. If you look at Xiaomani in her, her stats are so clear. But because of his play styles. Oh, Allison, best goalkeeper in the game. Um because of like his play styles, he's just so clear. And that's the 424, brilliant formation. Definitely recommend you give it a go. Um and leave in the comments uh how you get on. And I'll catch you in another one. Cheers!